Alrighty, let's take a look at the IP addresses library. Uh, this is going to be what you use to figure out whether or not an IP is in a subnet or uh, arrange your subnets or split your subnets, etc. So let's take a look at it. First thing we're going to do is define an IP address. And let's go ahead and define a subnet while we're at it. Okay, so right now these are just strings. So let's turn them into actual subnets uh, and IP addresses. going to change that from IP underscore address to just address just to uh, just so I'm not confusing IP address with IP underscore address And also it would have done some really nasty things here. So let's print those two. So it doesn't really look all that impressive at this point. Let's take a look at what we can do with it. So it is actually understanding the idea of a subnet and it recognizes all the IPs that are in that subnet. So can also use this to check and see if the IP address that we give it is actually in the subnet. So let's make a quick little change here to the address. So now the address should not be in the subnet. Let's see if we get false. We do. So this will let you check to see if an IP address is in a subnet. This is really helpful if you have uh, hundreds of subnets that you want to go through and check and see if uh, one IP address matches any of those subnets. Uh, so how would we use this? So for that, we're going to break into a few other dictionaries uh, and some functions that I've written. So I've already imported common functions. So I'm going to make a connection. So if 
before I go into that, let's look at this. So basically I am populating IPs with all the IP addresses in ips.txt, username, Cisco, password, Cisco. Over here I have a function that connects to a device, whether it is uh, SSH, Telnet, and it can recognize if it's a Nexus. to identify the IP. So we're just doing a show run. On this uh, connection. This is using uh, Cisco config parse to basically take a list, uh, go through that list, and look at the config and break the config up some. So let's take a quick look. Get this router. So what Cisco config parse does is it goes through and looks at uh, the indentation to see what is a parent and what is a child. So this is all the way to the left. So that makes it a parent. This one has a few spaces under it. Uh, that makes this a child of this. So that's a really quick rundown on how Cisco config parse works. Uh, you will see more how it works in a little while. So So we're turning the Shogun into a list with uh, the line returns de uh, determining what's a new item in the list. And so for the text we're looking for, we are looking for interface. However, since some Cisco stuff has a capital I for interface in the show run, it's, I generally try to just do interface without the letter that may or may not be capital. So we are going to now run through those interfaces. And then we are going to run through each line of the interface. Okay, so we are looking for the subnets. So we are going to be looking for any line that says IP address. In config line. And No, not in config line. So what we're doing here is we're ignoring everything that says no IP address. So if you have an interface that um, does not have a IP address currently configured um, and it's a routed interface, it will say, ah, here's a good example, loopback1 has no IP address. So the IP address would ma match this. So if we didn't have this uh, no line 
in here, then this would be matching and we'd hit uh, some lines that we didn't want. So if it says IP address and there's not a no in there, we are going to run through it and find all of the IPs. So what this does is it takes the line and it will find all the IP addresses in that line or in whatever you're uh, giving it. And I wish I could claim that I wrote this regex, but I found it on the internet. And so the first number is going to be IP, and the subnet mask is going to be the second line, the second IP address. And before we continue any further, let me go ahead and run this and make sure I haven't made any horrible mistakes. looks to have all worked miraculously. So I have uh, loopback zero, uh, yep. So one other thing that we can do uh, that might be more helpful is because every interface is in there, uh, the, con the order does not change. So this is what is in each uh, interface in the list for each interface. So I know that interface line zero is that. So what we can do is Do that to pull the actual interface name, which can be very helpful. All right, so you see that we have the IP address, the subnet mask, and the first line of the interface, 230. So if you will remember though, back when we uh, made our config, we did not use the subnet mask, we used CIDR notation. Uh, that's one of the things that IP, the IP address library likes. So we are going to go and look at this uh, set of scripts. So basically this subnet to CIDR uh, function just goes through every line in the uh, CIDR map and if uh, the first section here is the subnet mask, it will return with the first section, the first, uh, yeah, section of the list, which is your CIDR notation. So that's all I'm doing to convert uh, the subnet mask to the CIDR. So, subnet mask to uh, CIDR. Subnet mask equals IP address dot IP underscore network. And let's put all this together. Temp equals. Uh, ooh, that could have been really ugly if we were doing multiple devices because uh, or referencing this IP anywhere 
because I just referenced the same IP in two different, uh, same variable and overwrote it. So that could be really ugly in the future. So let's change that. It's one of the issues I have with networking quite often is I'm messing with so many variables that are IPs that it can get really ugly. Well, IPs, interfaces, CDP entries, etc. So we're just combining these two into a string. This probably is not going to work because I did not do it quite right and I wanted you to see what it was that happened uh, when I did this because this is something I ran into and it took me forever to figure out what the issue was, how to fix it. So you see that it is mad because it has host bits set. So it, it doesn't like the fact that it's 10.0.10.1 slash 24 because that one is a host bit and it should be a zero. So this is one of those things I made a script for because I don't like trying to remember it. But by default, strict is set to true and that's what enforces that. So if we set that to false, crossed all right so it is successfully printing the uh, cider notation and it is successfully converting that into an IP and a subnet so I hope this was helpful thank you goodbye